Sup YouTube, what's going on? Corey Kitchen here, and welcome to the first ever Q&A session. <laughs> so you guys asked me a lot of questions yesterday, and I really wasn't uh, expecting so many. So I'm just going to jump into them. I'm going to ask him in the order that they came. So the first question was from Noob Slayer Bob, and he said, What's your favorite Metroid game, if any? Well, um... Metroid Fusion, I'm just gonna say I probably spent the most time on that one because I had it for my Game Boy SP and my dad used to have to take it away from me when it was time to go to sleep because when it was time to go to sleep, I used to take my Game Boy SP and play my Metroid Fusion under the blanket. <laughs> my dumb dad. Cool, what you doing in there? Yeah, got caught a couple of times. So yeah, probably Metroid Fusion. Next question comes from Christopher Nines, and he asks, when I get things going, would you want to do some games together? Yeah, sounds good to me, man. Just kidding. No! Nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. Maybe. Shake and Bake Jake asked, are you funny because you're brown? Hey, what you trying to say about brown people, cuh? Wait, we, are we clowns to you? You think we funny? You think all of us are funny? Are we clowns to you? Yeah, I don't know if he was really serious or not, but his real question was, how did you get your awesome mustache? Well, it, it's a funny story, actually. Uh, for the longest time, I couldn't grow a uh, facial hair, and one day, um, I read an ad in the newspaper saying, you know, free mustaches, come get your mustache on uh, uh, church and state or whatever street it was, and I went down there, and they were giving away free mustaches, so I was like, thanks, you know? Simple as that. Next question comes from Shady Nightmare, and she asks, what is the weirdest thing that has ever happened to you in your entire life? Ah, weirdest thing that ever happened to me? Well, weirdest? I don't know if this is weird. Well, I felt weird at the time. Um, when I went to uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and um, me and my friend Brandon were jumping on these poles. You know what, I got video of it. Why don't I just show you? <laughs> even after, even after, you just busted your nutsack open, dude. Yeah, I was feeling pretty weird after that, um, especially in my lower area, if you know <coughs> what I'm <coughs> talking about. Zane Chiro asks, if you could learn one thing in the Matrix, anything, even if I've been in, what would you learn? Um, in the Matrix, if I could learn anything, um, hmm, this is kind of hard, because there's so many superpowers that I want to learn. But, you know what I really would like to learn if I went to the Matrix? How to make my stomach get bigger, because I've always wanted to eat like 30 hot dogs, um, back to back. Next question comes from Scotty Mac, and he asks, This question might sound weird, but what are your favorite YouTubers? Uh, I'm assuming you meant what, and not who are my favorite YouTubers. Um, hopefully you meant what. <laughs> but my favorite YouTubers are gamers, uh, comedians, um... Just to throw a few out there, uh, my favorite, one of my favorite YouTubers is uh, Swoozy. I don't know if you know who he is, but he talks about like his life and some stuff that he's been going through, and he animates them sometimes, and they're really cool. Um, one of my favorite, uh, another one of my favorites is uh, the Gamer Twenty Three Twenty Three. His laugh is ridiculous. I don't know, it's just so hilarious to me. And probably one of my favorite gaming YouTubers is uh, Yummy Mash because he's just funny. I don't like that he like curses so much, uh, but you know, I still like him. He's a pretty cool guy. My next question comes from Ira Marie Bull and she asks, why did you want to become a gamer on YouTube? Um, from watching other gamers pretty much. My next question comes from Trey Moose, M Trey Morse, <laughs> Trey Moose. Trey Morse, and he asks, which would you choose, PS3, PS4, PC, Xbox One? Let me just stop right there, Xbox One, dude, um, hold on. Do you see this? Do you see the greatness that this is? Oh my goodness, dude, this is no contest for me, Xbox One. Um, I was, I've never, oh well, PS2 was the last time I was a Sony boy, but that was a very long time ago. My girlfriend has a PS3, I play that sometimes. I've seen the PS4, it's I. Uh, no, I mean, really, it, it, it really doesn't matter. They're both amazing. I just happen to pick Xbox One, and I really enjoy it, so 
Yeah. Next question comes from Nick Sandwich Games, very nice username, and he asks, "What got you into making YouTube videos, and where do you think you'll be in two years of doing it?" Well, I kind of just answered. Uh, oh, what got me into making YouTube videos? Period. Oh crap. Um. Ooh. Um. Let me just tell you guys who my favorite, most favorite YouTuber of all time. She is who got me into making YouTube videos all the way back in 2009. And her YouTube name is Indie Titan Lady. She was the funniest YouTuber, most coolest girl like I've ever like watched on YouTube. Um, and watching her talk about stuff on uh, YouTube and um, you know, I had a couple of funny things that happened to me in high school and stuff like that. So I was like, hmm, you know, I can make a YouTube video too. And that's pretty much how it happened. And what do you think you'd be in two years? In two years, I want to have like 1.5 mil subs, you know, do collabs with like Markiplier on the regular, you know. Next question comes from Departed Angel. And she asked, besides getting two, ten, 2K, 10K subs, what is one goal in life you have? One goal in my life is uh, I want to have a family and be able to support them very comfortably um, doing minimal work. Um, I don't know. I'm willing to work hard, but hopefully, you know, if I can get going on YouTube and uh, graduate from college, that's another goal, uh, which should be next year. Um, graduate from college and design video games and have a family. Hey, that's 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 all a guy can ask for, am I right? The Minority Show asks, when you were doing your sketches back in high school, what possessed you to do your character Kelsey? I've always wanted to ask. Um, for those of you who don't know, back way in high school, I used to do uh, sketch comedy. Like that was all I did. I didn't do gaming or anything like that. It was all like comedian esque type things. And um, my hair was very long, very very long, and so. Uh, I created a new character, or a character that uh, was a female, and she was my girlfriend. And um, I don't know what inspired me to do that. I just realized one day, like, man, my hair is like super long. I can like create other characters. Weird Zombie Killer asks, why do you always wear a beanie in your videos? Well, when my hair is not out like this, um, it's braided. and. I used to look cool, or I think I used to look cool with braids back in high school, but uh, not so much anymore, so I don't know. Next question comes from Light Skin Gamer, and he asks, so what's the scariest thing that ever happened to you? Mmm, oh, here we go. So, um, it was about like two or so Halloweens ago, and I went to this uh, place called Wired, and it's like a, it's like a orchard like a ranch not a ranch like a farm not a farm i don't know what it is but it's like a deserted location with a bunch of like haunted attractions i went on halloween and so uh, me and my friends we went in this one house it was called like asylum or mental asylum or something like that and so we're like just sticking together and like uh me being the most awesome dude like i went first so i was like oh yeah all right come on come on you know nothing scary and hat scary happening but then, um, there was like this long corridor, and I'm like, all right, this is a trap. This is a trap if I've ever seen a trap before. And we're walking down the hall, and you know, nothing's happening so far. I'm like, okay, maybe we're gonna get out of here alive. At the end of this tunnel, when I say this freaking six, nine foot dude came out with this chainsaw, I think I crapped out a horse that day. Um, I, I, I held it in at that point, but things almost got really bad for me joe dk asks will you ever be at 10,000 subs yeah i'm pretty sure um as long as i just keep working hard and you guys keep sharing my videos are you guys sharing my videos i hope you are because i'd really appreciate that you know i would peter jiang asks are you in school if so which one yes i am in school um if you guys ever see these pepper shakers back here it tells you which school i'm at i'm at the university of michigan in ann arbor um, it's uh, pretty much the coolest school in the Midwest, so you know, nothing big or nothing. You know, I'm just like going to the best school in the the world, actually. So, you know, no big deal. Brandon Herman asks, "Are you gonna make any more sketches?" Uh, yeah, I actually do like doing like the skits and the comedy type stuff. My Bone Seventy One asked, "What's your favorite RPG horror so far?" I gotta go with Ib, hands down. 
Cat Marshmallow asked, "Do you have a pet? If so, please show him." Um, no, I had uh, three hamsters though. That was a long time ago. Um, I named them Goku, Chi Chi, and um, the third one was actually given to me pre-named, so I didn't get to name her. And her name was Julia. But Goku and Chi Chi were my most awesome pets. FJN007 asks, "So will you play any of Oni RPG games? Ao Oni, Nier Oni? Yes, I do plan on playing the Onis. I didn't even know that there were like three of them." But yes, I will be playing those. I'll also, I'm, I'm gonna be playing like every single RPG horror. As long as it's good. I tried out this one called like Taut. That one sucked. But um, as long as it's good, as long as you guys recommend it to me, yes, I will be playing it. So stick around. Joshua Boundy asks, how old are you? I am, uh, <laughs> I was about to be like, I'm 35. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what's wrong with me. I'm 21 years old though. White Wolf 2997 asked, "What is your favorite game or series?" Halo, hands down. Uh, it's always been my favorite game. Well, ever since the first one came out, I didn't even have an Xbox. My dad had an Xbox, and my mom got him Halo and Halo 2. And it was it was a wrap after that. The first time I played Halo 2 online multiplayer, I was sold. And then Halo 3 came out, and and then I became like Halo Slave, and then Reach came out, and I was like, yeah. And then Halo 4 came out, and I was like, oh my god. Tynanya asked, what's your favorite video game so far? I mean, this is kind of like uh, the last question, but I'll answer it. Um, Halo, yeah. Halo. James Frost asked, what's the scariest thing you've ever seen or read? Um, might not be so scary to me now, but um. The scariest thing I ever read was Escape from Camp Jelly Jam, uh, which is an R.L. Stein Goosebumps book, if you didn't know. Tony D asked, if you were a flavor of Jell-O pudding snacks, one that may or may not be on the Jell-O pudding snacks industry, which flavor would best describe you? This is the weirdest question I have ever been asked, but um, what flavor? What flavor would best describe me? I don't know, probably like, uh, Fruit Punch Grape Delicious Blue Raspberry Superman Oreo because oh my gosh those are the best things on the planet. Jonathan McIntyre asks, "What kind of music are you a fan of?" Oh man, um, well, my favorite band of all time is Mute Math. Um, I actually saw them live. They're like alternative uh, rock, um, instrumental. Like they make these songs. That it just I'm just like what is this ranking 214 asked best villain of all time show your work um this is very tough for me because I want to say Frieza um, because this is why Frieza killed Vegeta uh, way back in the Saiyan saga of Dragon Ball Z this is the anime that I'm talking about by the way Frieza killed Vegeta and Vegeta cried and when Vegeta cried Something in me snapped because I was like, you know, Vegeta, he's the prince of all sayings, blah, 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 you know, saying the same thing he's always saying to the camera. And when he cried, it really ignited uh, a hatred in me for Frieza because, you know, how, how can you make this awesome dude? I mean, I, I didn't really like Vegeta at the time, but I don't know. I just lost it. And then when Vegeta killed Krillin, I was just like, no, you got to die. Goku, take care of him because, you know, I'm about to throw my TV out the window. He, I mean, he destroyed the entire Saiyan race. I mean, you, you can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. Freaking Duck asked, uh, isn't that exciting? Yes, that's very exciting. <laughs> Sorry you wasted your question, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, there should be another questions and answers coming up. Mr. Toast Ghost asked, would you be willing to play any games? Ow, oh, nose itch. Would you be willing to play any games with adoring fans like myself? Man, that sounds so cool to me right now, but um, how, how are we gonna do this? Just hit me up on Skype, dude. I'll leave my Skype link in the description. That would be cool to me. I have no problems with it. Grimmy Grim asks, what type of music do you like other than hip hop? If you don't like hip hop, then my bad. You think because I'm black I like hip hop? My name is Corey and this is my story. No, I I, I do like hip hop. Um, it's not because I'm black though. Um, and yeah, alternative, alternative music, um, hip hop. Um, yeah, anything that sounds like cool, I guess. Yeah. Rose Black asked, "What made you start your channel?" 
uh, probably Indie Titan Lady. Yep, she she probably was the reason why I started YouTube. Leif Madison asked, what was the weirdest dream you ever had? What happened was I was in a zombie apocalypse. I know those are the best dreams, but I was in a zombie apocalypse. And I think I just got done playing like Res Evil 2 or Resident Evil 4 because Leon Scott Kennedy was in there. And I just see him running around and then he's like, hey, if you want to survive, follow me. I'm like, Leon, yes, I am saved. You survive everything. But then, um, you know, he, I'm following him and like, He's running and I'm running, but like he's running very fast. And in my dreams, for some reason, I always run so slow compared to how fast I run in real life. So I'm like, Leon, slow down. Leon, slow down. And then like a couple minutes later, like I couldn't even see him anymore because he had like gone so far away. And I'm just like, hmm, if Leon runs that fast, how fast do the zombies run? And then I turn around and the zombie's like <laughs> And that scared the crap out of me. Death Metal Strings asks, Do you prefer bad guys or good guys to be your friends? Uh, is this a trick question? Good guys? The Grim Howl asks, Why are you so awesome? You're almost as awesome as- Okay, the rest of this question could be omitted. But, um, Why are you so awesome? I don't know, man. I- I'm really not that awesome. I'm glad that you think that I'm awesome. And I'm glad that some of you viewers think that I'm awesome, but- I'm, I'm just a normal guy, you know, making YouTube videos. And that's all of them. So thank you guys so much for um, asking me the questions. And I think we're going to do like a part two, maybe in a couple weeks or so. Um, stay tuned for that. And I just got some good news. I am going to get some Astro headphones. And I'm getting a new computer. So Amnesia, um, Outlast, Vapor. Oh my goodness, the games coming are ridiculous. So stay tuned till the next episode of Dragon Ball. No, but really, it's going to be awesome. So thank you guys once again for uh, watching my first Q&A session, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.